does your personality type affect the dynamics when you're going through a divorce situation? We have such a great resource in our community to help those going through divorce. I had a chance to sit down and talk with Brian Balke, who's a certified hypnotherapist, and I got his perspective on the challenging situation of couples going through divorce. <music> Hi, it's Greg Bruno with Greg Bruno Homes. I'm here this week with Brian Balke. He's a certified hypnotherapist um, specializing in couples and... Um, relationship dynamics. Relationship yes. dynamics. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm working with a couple that has to make a decision about selling their home, going through a divorce, a lot of times there's sticking points and, and it's tough to get, say, to that next step. Mm -hmm. What are some things you see as um, helpful or how would you help help that situation for a couple? Well, well, quite often there is a, a fair amount of um, uh, hurt in that situation, obviously. And that hurt is built up over years of relating to one another. And what people don't understand is that the same thing that made them excited about being together, if not managed properly and nurtured properly, is also the same thing that eventually drives them apart. Mm -hmm. And that is that some people are adventurous and like to be engaged socially and go out and, and, uh, and, and have fun in the world. And there are other people that are really concerned about, they're more protective, they want to be sure at the end of the day that there's some value built up and retained in the community or sure. in their relationship. And those two things can tend to be in conflict with each other. And so what happens is that that adventure person who, who feels like they, they never get to go out and have fun, what happens is that when that relationship begins to fall apart, they feel like their heart's being broken, their heart's being ripped out of them, more or less. And they can decide, uh, kind of in a very emotional way, that if I can't have the value in this relationship, nobody is going to have the value in the relationship. Sure. And I'm sure that you've seen this, where it's just like burn everything down and, and, make it, and, and, and start over again from scratch, more or less. The protective person who's worked so hard to build the value and accumulate, uh, accumulate property and assets in the relationship, Understanding this after having seen this kind of dynamic play out in a number of situations over the course of time, that, well, I just don't want this person to get anything at all. They're going to just burn it up. So I'm going to see to it that all the resources come to me. And so they can all be fairly kind of uh, calculating in terms of how they go about uh, trying to manipulate the sale of assets. Mm -hmm. But in point fact, if you explain this to people, that if they would have managed this a little bit better, that actually creates this, this idea that, well, in my next relationship, if I've got as much value and as much wealth as possible, that when I go into that relationship, I can actually fulfill this and navigate the relationship better as to whether it's a partnership instead of being conflict. And so they can release and move forward into that eventuality. Great. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome, Greg. Thanks for having me. If you have any questions for Brian or myself, please comment, share this video with people you know that might enjoy it, and we'll reach out and get back in touch with you. Thanks so much.